Happening today, a stunt stacked weekend will kick off at Legoland right here in Florida. World renowned daredevil Nick Walenda will walk across a high wire 60 feet in the air. With 11 Guinness World Records, Walenda is known as the king of the high wire. There he is practicing from crossing the Grand Canyon and Niagara Falls to walking blindfolded between two towers in Chicago. Many of his stunts whew, make you nervous, but he's always pulled it off. He joins us this morning to talk about his next daring act. Yet again, this is going to take place at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, Nick, so thanks for coming on. So many people have followed your journey from walking over Niagara Falls to those towers to over a volcano. This one a little closer to home for most of us in Central Florida. Yeah, it is. I'm so excited to be walking this afternoon at 2 p.m. here at Legoland Florida Resort to celebrate the 10th birthday of the resort. And I'll be doing a walk that is about 70 feet high, about 700 feet across. And one of the unique aspects of this walk is the fact that I'll be using a balancing pole that has been covered in Legos. Uh, we've, we have these larger Legos that we've added to it. It's about uh, 70 Legos, actually. And, and the challenge that is presented is the fact that the balancing pole now weighs double what I'm used to using. So it is almost 75 pounds, and uh, I haven't had a lot of time to practice because it took a long time to actually uh, erect and, and make this pole, manufacture it. So I am a bit nervous about that, but of course, always excited to be performing in my home state of Florida. Yeah, you're from Sarasota, Nick. Tell me what, do you wake up every morning and you're just like, what can I do next to make people <laughs> nervous? Yes. Yes, to be honest, I am. It, it is really, that is what my life is about. It's my passion. I do what I do to hopefully inspire people that nothing is impossible if you set your mind to it. And in order to do that, I have to continue to push myself. So when I get, uh, get invited to perform somewhere like Legoland Florida, immediately my mind goes to, well, how can I make it unique and exciting for, and challenging for myself? And that's why we added Legos to my balancing pole. Do you ever have something that you say, that's just too much for me to do? Or do you find a way to make it happen? No, I generally find a way to make it happen. I will tell you uh, everything from my most recent television special was when I walked over an active volcano in Nicaragua. Yeah, so, that was cool. uh, you know, I'm working on a stunt out in outer space right now. So always working on something different and looking on and forward again to challenge myself. I believe I'm supposed to be an inspiration to others and encourage them to push themselves to be better at what they do. I have to do the same for myself. And obviously it's an interesting time. You're keeping your social distancing by being 70 feet up, but Legoland and, and, and so many other places throughout the state of Florida are, are dealing with that, making sure that people are safe, that they're socially distanced, but that those jobs are still in place for so many people who rely on the tourism industry. Yeah, that's right. Everybody has had to adjust. I mean, I was I was raised with the words champions adjust. And I think that's what just what Legoland has done is they have adjusted to the times. Of course, we are dealing with, uh, you know, with this pandemic and trying to figure out how to work around it. And I think they've done an amazing job. I know myself, I spent yesterday with my daughter walking around the park and enjoying our time. And I was uh, very impressed with the way that they handled all of those protocols. Yeah. So you're obviously doing your stunt, but it's to commemorate this new stunt show and the shows that are going to be going on at Legoland that's, for guests to see every day, even if you're not there, Nick. That's right. A, that's exactly right. A brand new show called Brick Beard's Water Sports Stunt Show. Some of the best water sport athletes in the world are right here in Legoland at Winter Haven. And I want to encourage everybody to come back. If you can't make it today at 2 p.m., tune into YouTube, uh, Legoland's YouTube channel, Legoland Florida, and you'll be able to watch it live. But make sure you come back because this water sports stunt show had me on the... You say good luck before something like that? Do you say, you don't say break a leg, do you? <laughs> how, how do you, I you can say whatever you like, I'll take it. How do it. I hype you up? Okay, maybe <laughs> you can give us a Duval shout out up there. Appreciate you coming on and uh, thank you for representing Florida and, and certainly wish the best for you and your team. Thanks so much for having me on.